Hey, hey there, friends. Lynn Lindberg of the Health and Fitness Motivation Podcast. And today we're going to continue our new series. We're calling it Get Organized. That's right. We're getting our houses all set up for health and fitness success. And we are starting, drum roll please, in the kitchen. That's right. We knew it all starts in the kitchen, doesn't it? Always. <laughs> okay. Today, this is very task oriented. So sometimes I pontificate and tell stories of my life and your life and visions in the future. Today's is just grossly tactical. Okay. And this is the first of like five that we're doing for the kitchen and food physical spaces specifically. Here is your task for today. Here's what I want you to do today. Not tomorrow, not next week, (laughs) today, like right now. In fact, go ahead and walk over to your kitchen and get ready for this. Okay, you ready? You're standing in your kitchen. You're looking around. You're imagining, you're visualizing everything in your kitchen. You're thinking about your fridge and the contents in your fridge. You're thinking about the pantry and food in there. You're thinking about the freezer and what you have in the freezer. You're thinking about underneath the kitchen sink. You're thinking about cupboards and drawers and whatever else you may have. And and if you're in a house with a tiny kitchen, today you're going to be really, really glad you have a tiny kitchen. If you are in a house with a huge kitchen or two kitchens, or if you have two houses, this is going to be a bigger job. But such is the nature of the care and feeding of things. All right. This is what you're going to do today. You're going to simply pull out and toss out, not necessarily junk food, not sugar, none of that. We'll get to that later. I know, I know. Anything that's rotten, old, or that you know you're never going to eat. That's it. That's it today. So what this is going to do and why this is important is it's going to do two two things. One is it's going to clear out a little bit of space so you can focus on these next tasks coming over the next couple of days that are going to be important for your success. But we got to do this first in order to make space for the next tasks. Another thing it's going to do is it's going to give you a chance to pause and, and get rid of what I call backyard syndrome, right? You know, the, the things where like it's so close to us, it's so around us all the time anymore that we don't even realize it's there. So when you go into the, your refrigerator, in fact, if you're in your kitchen right now, open up your kitchen right now, start checking it out in detail. And you might be like, oh, huh? I have four bottles of salad dressing or six or 12 and three of them are two years old. Like, okay, pitch them, throw them away. All right. Ooh, look at the way, way, way back are those pickles that I got from aunt so-and-so and I don't like those pickles and uh, they aren't bad but I, they've been there a year and I'm never going to eat those. So, okay, pull them out, throw them away. I know this is this, I uh, see now you're beginning to see this is how it's hard to do. You're going to go into your pantry and, and you're going to have to make some tough decisions about the difference between something you're never going to eat and something that's maybe there legitimately as emergency supplies, or maybe you're never going to eat it, but you really legit have some things you're saving for a rainy day. So in your pantry, you're going to go through and all the things that you think you might actually eat, organize them or just have them where you can reach them easily. And don't worry about organizing yet. We're going to we're gonna get there. I said organizing, but meh, take that back. But take the things that have been in your cupboard for six months or a year or two or more. <laughs> And just shove them all in a space and just be like, okay, this is the stuff that I'm not going to eat, but I don't want to throw it away. So I'm just going to shove it over here in a corner and it'll be like my rainy day. If times get really, really tough, I'll go in and, and I'll use those, but get them out of the way. Don't have them right in front of you. Or maybe you pull things out and you want to donate them. Okay. So this is what we're doing. We're not even done yet. Yeah. We're just, we're getting started here. Actually, maybe we're half done. We're going to go over to our kitchen sink. Look under that kitchen sink area. What kind of cleaning supplies do you have? Do you have stuff that's just been sitting there that you never use? Like you're going to look in your pots and pans 
and your dishes and your glassware, and you're going to get a box to donate and things in your kitchen that you haven't used forever, and you're suspicious that you may never use them again, you're going to put them in a box and put them somewhere so they can be donated and make space, make space, make space. Now, today, we're not putting judgment at all on what's healthy, what's not healthy for foods. You know, if you want to keep something, you keep it. (laughs) We're not doing any of that yet. Today, we're just getting rid of the unnecessary junk in the kitchen that we don't need or won't use. Yep. So, and when I say junk, I mean like rotten food, right? You've got that bag of whatever in the bottom of the drawer and it's like, it's almost starting to spoil, but not quite yet. And deep down, you know, you'll, you actually won't eat it, but you're going to leave it in that fridge for another week before you actually get rid of it. That's the kind of stuff we're getting rid of today. We're making space, making space, making space. Then tomorrow we'll come back and look at our next task. Yeah. And now you can kind of see how this is going to be a really great big deal project. So every one of these episodes is titled Get Organized, colon, and then the name of the mini episode. So you'll be able to go back and listen to these over and over again, or look at just the titles and be like, oh yeah, that one, got to do that, got to do that, got to do that. Because for some of us, we won't be able to do all this in a month. Some of us, it's going to take us like a year and we'll be able to do one thing a month. (laughs) So there you have it. Clean the junk out of your kitchen. I'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty, friends. If you are new to Couch to Active, that's the parent company that supports this. Head on over to couchtoactive.com. I am there to help support people with chronic illnesses and the blind figure out this whole health and fitness stuff in a way that can be fun so they don't have to feel stuck on the couch. There's so many things you can do to gain energy, be more vibrant, and actually succeed at this whole health and fitness thing. So head on over there, homepage, couchtoactive.com, and we'll uh, get going together. Bye-bye now.